Florida's treat. The state of Florida invites you to join the transatlantic troubadour Harry Richmond, Freddie Rich and his orchestra, and those two genial buffoons, Pick and Pat. And now for our Master of Ceremonies, Harry Richmond. Hello, folks, and salutations. I'm happy to welcome you to Florida Street and to say that every square inch of this great state is banded together to give you this program of entertainment, just as every grower of citrus fruits is banded together to give you oranges, grapefruit, and tangerines with that extra flavor, that extra juice, and that extra sweetness that makes the name Florida the standard of perfection. So on with the show. Let's have music. Play, Freddie. Freddie Rich and his famous orchestra playing Liza. And from the sound of it, Liza is some gal. <laughs> yes, sir. You said it, boss. Pat, where'd you come from? Well, uh, I didn't come. I've been here. Well, good for you. Where's your partner? Yeah, I'm here, Mr. Harry. Well, step right up, Pick, and say hello to the folks. Say hello, folks, sir. Well, you're a literal fellow anyway. Say, tell me, I've been wondering about your names, Pick. Now, that's a funny name. How does it happen your name, Pick and Pat? Oh, that's easy, boss. Sure, you see, down here in Florida, I picks oranges and grapefruit. Yes, sir. And I pats myself on the back every time I think of how lucky I is to be here. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. So that's why you're called Pick and Pat. Well, how do you like picking oranges? Well, I used to like it pretty good till the boss man made us whistle. Made you whistle? Yes, sir. Us whistle all the time us works now. Well, your boss must have an ear for music if he makes you whistle while you work. <laughs> no, sir. He knows as long as us whistles, we can't be eating up his fruit. <laughs> oh, wise man. <laughs> yeah, sir. <laughs> well, come on now, boy. Let's get funny for Mr. Harry. Yeah, yeah. all right. You old bulldog and mud turtle, you. Huh? You know, I, I, I sure was glad to visit your little orange farm last week. Yeah, and I sure was glad to have you, too, Pick. And there was my little dog, Corset. Boy, he was tea kettle to have you, too. Corset, you know, I've been wondering, sonny boy, why do you call that dog Corset? Because I keeps him tied up all day and lets him out at night. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know that little hammer boy, he got a sore foot, and now he's arithmetic dog. What do you mean, an arithmetic dog? Uh, I told you he had a sore foot, didn't I? Yeah. Well, that's it. He puts down three and he carries one. Yes, that's so. Well, you know, Pat, old boy, I got a cute little dog of my own all is, by myself. I got one. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a picture. Let me see. Where's dog gone? 
Boy, he look like a smart little dog, don't he? I'll say the word he is. Why, that dog's only four months old, and he knows almost as much as I do. You say the little dog, what's that? I say he knows almost as much as I do. Well, give him a chance. He's only a puppy. Yes, that's so. You know, I love that dog, Pat. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Do you? That dog is just like one of the family. Say the little dog, he's what? The dog is just like one of the family. Which one, you or your brother? Me? Uh, no, <laughs> neither one. I suppose you have to get up pretty early out here on your orange farm, don't you? Yeah. Boy, you is a hard sleeper. How do you ever get yourself up so early? Well, you know my uncle Lassidophilus. I know him. He sleeps in the bed next to me, and I has a cold shower right over his round head. Right over his head? Yeah, 7 o'clock in the morning, the hard man, he turns on the shower over Uncle Lassidophilus. Well, wait a minute. Now, how could the shower over your uncle wake you up? Because when that cold shower goes off, it wakes up my uncle, and boy, what he says would wake anybody up. I wouldn't be surprised. How's that canary bird of yours? Oh, he's dead from eating applesauce. Applesauce? Yeah, he had some applesauce, and he felt so good about it, he chirped, and the cat jumped up there and ate him up. Mm-mm, boy, that's too bad. Yeah, but it do teach him a good lesson. What kind of lesson? When you is full of applesauce, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got any other birds on your farm? Yeah, I got some Bolshevik chickens. Bolshevik chickens? Yeah. What's that? Rhode Island Reds. Oh, I see. Well, how's that big old horse of yours down there on the farm? Oh, the horse? Yeah. You know, I've been wondering how I could get a hold of that horse's money. Money? Mm Mm-hmm. You fool, a horse can't have no money. Certainly he can. I read all about a horse having money in the market part of the newspaper this morning. You did? What did the paper say? It says, horses hide, $35.50. Oh, behave. (laughs) You know how dumb my Uncle Lassie Dufflis has been taking care of that horse? Yeah, well, how's he treat the horse? Well, the other day I seen him beating the poor little horse something terrible. My goodness, what did you do? Well, I walked up to him. I said, Unc, I said, don't beat the poor horse like that. Talk to him. So he went up to the horse, and then he said, Horse, I'm from St. Petersburg. Where is you from? (laughs) Boy, that is dumb. Yeah, but he'd do dumber things than that. Oh, how could he? Well, I don't know. Only yesterday I saw him beating up a poor little rabbit. Hit the rabbit? Yeah, he socked the rabbit, then he'd say, How much is two and two? Two and two. Yeah, then he hit him again and say, How much is two and two? And then he'd sock him again. Oh, boy, that sounds silly to me. Me too. So I went up to him. I said, Unc, why is you hitting the poor little rabbit? Then old Uncle, he say, Cause... People tell me rabbits multiply, but this here rascal, he can't eat mad. Oh, boy, that's terrible. Yeah, but boy, he just done something even dumber than all that. He did? What was that? Well, my gal was up visiting me all week, and he got the medicines for my gal and my horse mixed up. He got the medicine for your gal and the horse all mixed up? Yeah. Well, what happened? Now my gal runs around all day pulling the ice wagon, and my horse, he wants to sit on my lap and neck. <laughs> Well, I guess you're the world's two prize-winning fruit pickers. Yeah, sir, I reckon us is, Mr. Harry, but I'll tell you something else. Yes? What's that? Uh, I reckon you is the world's prize singer of romantic songs. Well, thanks, Pat. Oh, now, wait a minute. I don't know about that. Oh, yes, he is, too. Oh, what you mean? Oh, he is, too. Now, listen, Pig. Uh, What have you got against my singing? Oh, nothing, Mr. Harry. I only said I didn't know how good it was. Well, what's the idea of a crack like that? Well, now, how's I going to tell if it's good or bad unless you do a little singing for me? Let me hear it. Oh, I get it. In other words, Get to work, Richmond. Yeah, that's the right idea, boys. Well, all right, boys, I'll sing. Yeah, I'll sing. When does life begin? Not the day you're born. Not the day you learn to walk or start in with your baby talk. Though you have a heart, you won't know it's beating until that certain meeting. With that certain someone Life begins when you're in love You'll have the world before you When you found that one The only one to love and adore you It's when you learn to sigh a bit Too long a bit to cry a bit, life begins when Cupid wins, and you're in love.
world, you'll have the world before you. When you found the one, the only one to love and adore you. And baby, there's more to it when you learn to spy a bit too long a bit to buy a bit life begins when cupid wins and you're in love <laughs> go in there see that pick it's like i was telling you i reckon mr harry is the prize singer of them all yeah <laughs> well i guess you was right sonny boy he sure do get my vote well boys that's mighty nice of you to talk like that and just to show you my appreciation how about coming out with me and letting me buy you a drink? But there's a mother, but what kind of drink? Oh, a great big glass of Florida orange juice. <laughs> you almost had me scared then. Yeah, and this time you won't have to whistle. Play something, will you, Freddy? <laughs> Richmond saying goodbye for now and hoping you listen in again next time. It's Florida's Treat. We'll be back soon with new songs, new music, and new guests. So long. Mm-hmm.